so topic of the day mr yellow teeth turned white teeth has <laughs> signed an extension and mr no glasses now oh yeah no glasses too yes so i've i've always had this theory where anyone who's gotten good amount of money doesn't look ugly <laughs> i mean jurgen klopp he, i'm not saying that he looked ugly but his look did it wasn't eye pleasing as it is right now <laughs> to put it in a very mild way so now he's on to a two year extension which pulls him on to 2026 liverpool have a high chance of creating another new era maybe dominating another four years five years and competing with man city and going again city and liverpool could probably go eons ahead of the premier league of the other teams in the premier league they are already five years ahead of all the other sides in the premier league with this extension and if pep also decides to stay for a few more years we are looking at two super clubs we are looking at a scenario where we've accused other leagues of being a one sided team one sided league or a two faced team, two side league i think the premier league is slowly going in that direction well the only main difference here being uh, maybe you cannot put this argument for manchester city but at least in liverpool's case this is purely based on the skill and the talent of the manager this is like alex right. ferguson this is like arsene wenger levels of stuff this is not a club just you know financially out muscling their opposition but this is like pure tactical stuff you know good scouting good recruitment and again Prop- you can argue football. like even Prop- city football. does that to an extent but liverpool definitely embody it a lot more which brings us to the the other talking point is should mo sala extend his contract with with liverpool now uh, so in all argument uh, mo sala is probably the best player of, well now karim benzema has come up and really thrown that equation out of whack but he's definitely one of the top 3 best players in the world right now mo sala um so he wants to be compensated as such uh, which is hard to argue with you know when you have players at you know dynasty clubs making over 600k a week which is just ridiculous amounts of money um and mo sala is you know no, nowhere even close he's not in the top owner at uh, liverpool right now from what i understand um so is it justified for him to ask for more and you know where what's the line what should he do what what's good for him what's good for liverpool uh see i don't know about drawing the line because right now player salaries are uh i, I don't even think i'm qualified to even talk about it because it's <laughs> it's insane player salaries agent salaries agent well above our pay grade yeah all of these things are so weird right now that whatever we talk doesn't even matter because they're like ha 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 i am laughing in millions right now so again his demands could be very well outrageous but what i think is liverpool can hold firm maybe because right now klopp has extended which gives liverpool more breathing room and more negotiation room in this conversation because now they have this argument where hey he is the one who's got the best out of you and he is not going you are you have to play under a different system under a different coach in a different league with a different set of players how much do you have in you to like adapt and thrive in that environment because if anybody is going to pay you upwards of 300000 a week may, be it euros pounds dollars whatever they are going to expect you to hit the ground running a goal and an assist every game is going to be an outright demand so i think sala may not be able to do that at least at the start he might face issues with setting into the team and maybe just being one amongst other set of stars just like how it is at psg right now so i think it does not make sense for salah to go uh, and it doesn't make sense for liverpool to like blow outrageous amounts of money on mo salah's extension it's a weird phase for both of them where they have to come to terms with 
the realities of the situation and look at advantage look at an advantage point for both of them where again sala could become a living legend for his entire lifetime just by staying on maybe another two, one or two champions leagues another two or three league titles and all the other small cups and games in general it's just going to make him a living legend if not already so establish yourself like be a part of liverpool be a part of merseyside be a part of that lore build your own legacy like enhance it and help the club reach greater heights the club is on an upward rise they are at a position where they can dominate the premier league for the next 5 6 years along with man city why not have this and play to your advantage groom younger players like do things that you wouldn't do do something different rather than just chasing a big paycheck because that big paycheck is also going to come with multiple additional responsibilities that at this point in time might not really be his cup of tea sorry yeah, for and, going on a long rant here yeah no that's fine that's completely fine cuz you you bring up a few really really good points to where one like you mentioned like what team does he go to liverpool are literally at the pinnacle of the game right now literally any other move at this point is a downgrade for him in terms of the level at which he'll be playing and again the second point that you said it's like uh, he can make a lot of money but uh, the the numbers that we are talking at this point doesn't even make sense you know it's he's already making a lot of that the, the, the money for his longevity and he does a lot of that charity work so i get sort of that aspect of it which is incredible for him as a person uh but like you mentioned the, the opportunity to be uh you know in the folklore of a club as reputed and as celebrated as liverpool is another thing in and of itself most of like since that contract they're already on the brink of another champions league at this point in time liverpool as a club are on the brink of a quadruple a never before heard of feat maybe it is but not at least in our memory um in the in 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 this in year the in the next league couple league. of months they'll yeah. probably uh, solidify whether they find their self find themselves there he is going to be a part of that lord he's going to be the primary cog in the wheel of that lord because despite the amazing squad that liverpool has mo salah is still the star player of that team he is the lionel messi of that team he is the cristiano ronaldo of that team and even though he may not have the kind of career that you know those two players have had because that is they have set a very unrealistic standards in terms of the longevity of a career just to be a club legend is a rare feat in and of itself and he has the opportunity to kind of clinch that sort of an honor so like i said it makes sense for them to kind of find some of that middle ground and while klopp is still there while he is still able to get the best out of that team it makes sense for the best player or one of the best players in Europe right now to stay with one of the best teams in Europe right now. So yeah, that's that's our two cents on the situation. <laughs> I hope I hope better sense prevails and people driving this conversation use their brains a lot more than just going with what they think is nicer because As the saying goes, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. <laughs>